last, help is on the way for residents of Kajado's El Bissel and Dalalekutuk locations where a massive invasion of a worm known here as Kunchu is causing serious discomfort. The young and the old have been itching and scratching for days on end. We have realized that what, what we see now is actually a situation of uh, an outbreak of what we what I can refer to now as stinging needles, uh, stinging um, caterpillars. There are as many dead caterpillars just as those alive, but even their death is not any good news for the residents. The dead worms shed off the fur, which is then blown away by the wind. <laughs> And now they have crept into the mud walled houses, driving away occupants from their homes. Classrooms are not spared. The worms have reportedly forced some pupils out of school. They are everywhere on walls, roofs, floors, on footpaths, and in the bushes. There is just nowhere to run to. Because Caterpillar causes uh, an allergic reaction and uh, that's why most of them will complain of uh, itchy skin and uh, the other complaints that uh, they're, they're saying. Since schools opened for second term, several schools here have come under the caterpillar attack, the most affected being Lele. Olo Muni, Esilale, and Olo Bilbil Primary Schools. We conducted one of the doctor, and in fact, they are telling us no, no medicine. So uh, the only thing we are using is just on a tuambia kufuga kucha, noese kujukuna, akuna dawa ingine to nesa tumia, and that's why to menunua spirit, to naweka pale, naima jifu. The caterpillar has caused a lot of uh, a lot of uh, discomfort and irregular attendance and concentration in the learning processes in our schools. A team from the Plant Protection Services Division in the Ministry of Agriculture, whose mandate is to deal with migratory pests, accompanied by officials from Education and Health Ministries, arrived in the affected area to assess the situation that has now been described as a major public health concern. What we will do is to control these caterpillars out there in the field, that is in the grazing areas, and also in the farms. They came with equipment and at least 230 litres of pesticides to spray the environment. Munka Olekilelu's maize crop, which had come under heavy attack, may now be salvaged. All the affected schools will also be sprayed, but with a different pesticide. In the meantime, the scientists will be studying the specimens they collected with the hope of identifying the best control measure for such an outbreak in future. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Live at Nine.